way back to Carowinds for 2022. And I am so excited. They've got a few new things here that I want to show off today. We're going to try to get some desserts and snacks and things and let you see what's new here for 2022. It is windy as all get out, so I don't know if the big coasters are going to be running or not. They usually close them down when it's windy, but we're going to have ourselves a good time. Um, so let's go in here and see what they've got. Look at the palm trees. They're blowing sideways almost, and I haven't seen one train go down on the Intimidator or the Fury yet, so I think I am correct that they are not running right now due to the high wind. Now, according to my chief meteorologist, I just got some good news, so can you tell them what that might be? This wind is supposed to die down in about an hour. All right, so we may actually get to ride you these roller coasters. Yeah. I'm not riding here. You're going to ride at one time, I'm not right? Here. Okay, well, I may be actually riding these roller coasters um, later on in the day. Now, with that being said, I want you to know that I've already ridden all of these roller coasters here at Carowinds because it's our home park. We don't live far from here and we do a lot of videos on this place throughout the year. So, if you're interested in seeing news and updates and just fun videos on Carowinds, you might want to hit that subscribe button. There is the treble clef for Fury 325, and more importantly over here is the 325 foot tall drop. It's always good to see those when you come into the park. And we have made it in. The first time we've been on property in 2022. Everything looks so nice, people look so happy. It's gonna be a good day. On the back of the ticket kiosk here, they always list the events that they're going to have for this year. So right here we go, I'm going to go through them one by one. State Line Celebration, that's going to be like a tasting food festival, I think. Carolina Harbor is the water park for Carowinds. It's not open yet, but I think it usually opens up in May. Grand Carnival, I think is in May, June, probably June. I'll correct myself on the screen if I'm wrong. Scarewinds is the Halloween event for older kids and adults. Trick and Treats, Tricks and Treats is going to be the kids' Halloween thing. And Winterfest is their Christmas celebration around wintertime. So we've been to all of the, the ones that aren't new, and we're going to be doing them again this year. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can stay tuned on those videos. We're in South Carolina. We're in North Carolina. We're in South Carolina. Carowinds is in both states. <laughs> I think we're gonna head on into the Premier's shop here. That's where they have a lot of the merch. And I'm gonna see if they have anything new. Up front, they have a whole table displaying their spirit jerseys for the Grand Carousel. Um, I think they had these out last year, if I'm not mistaken, at the end of the year. But they're nice nonetheless. Um, but yeah, oh, up there you can see Fast lanes are $99, so if you want to skip the line and go into a faster lane for each ride, it's 99 bucks. Here's some cool merch for Copperhead Strike. That is a really good roller coaster here. I'll show it later on in the video. I actually have this hat right in the middle. I didn't see the blue one last year, so I don't know if that's new or not, but I don't think I saw it last year. Um, I always thought these shirts were pretty cool because it's Copperhead Strike, but it's in a mason uh, jar. Now, this is also a copperhead strike hat, and I kind of like it because it's got a copperhead on it, but it also has snake skin on the bill. Now, I got a big old round bobblehead, so flat bills don't look good on me, but some of you young kids may like that. I think it looks good. I do also like this hoodie. I don't remember seeing it last year, but it's got North Carolina, South Carolina, and Carowinds on it, and it is $40. Looks really cool. I like retro stuff like this with the colors like that. If you're coming during the warmer months, you may not want to buy a hoodie. So this shirt right here might be something you're interested in. It is $17, and the hat on top right up here is $15. So not not that not too expensive. That shirt also comes in different colors like blue and red. But yeah, I'm kind of liking the merch for this year. This is a pretty cool hat. It is $16.99. I don't think these prices are that bad, y'all. That wraps up the merch. Let's go see what else we can get into. As mentioned before, the Intimidator is not running due to high winds. But look, it's stuck up on the hill like that. I didn't know they would place it like that when it's not in operation. I don't 
don't know what this is doing out here now. This is normally not here. It looks like a Scarewind's problem. Looks like Camp Snoopy has a new show. It's called Camp Activities. And you know, all the kids' stuff is themed up as Peanuts related. So you've got Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and all that game. And it looks like we have some kids sitting down, so I think they're kind of simulating they're on a camping trip and they're reading a story right now. Feeling like I need to recharge a little, so I think I'm gonna head on into Harmony Hall and see if I can find one of those new snacks for 2022. We've made it inside of Harmony Hall and we chose the new item for the year, cheesecake on a stick. Now, our cheesecake is obviously not on a stick, but you can see there was a stick there at some point. So I guess we're just gonna name this cheesecake in a box. Not on a stick, hashtag not on a stick. But yeah. This is new. It usually comes on a stick, but it doesn't now. So we're gonna eat it. Tell you what we think. And here goes nothing. I'm not a huge cheesecake person, but I don't mind eating it when I have to. This is for science. Like I said, not a huge cheesecake person, but this is good. I'm actually really impressed with this. Yep, I would definitely eat it again. The shell on here, this chocolate, is a lot like ice cream chocolate that you would get. You know how it like gets a little hard over the ice cream? So yeah, it's like hard shell chocolate. The cheesecake is not too rich, but it hits the spot. And it's cold too, so when it's hot outside, I would definitely come in here and get this again. Shake Central was a new addition last year. We tried the chocolate explosion in the Colossal Monster and it was good. Now this uh, blue unicorn shake looks pretty good. It's got some sort of like ice cream cone on top of it. We're gonna head on into the camp store here and see if they have anything new for this year. Does anyone else remember when this used to be out there? I like the spirit jersey here. I haven't seen it before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've seen any of this stuff before on this wall. I really like this little uh, sling bag right here with Snoopy's ears on it. That's really cool. And then the hats over here, you got Charlie Brown and Snoopy hats. Also don't remember seeing these little snapping bricks uh, things. I don't know, they're not Legos. I guess they're Lanus. But yeah, these are all Peanuts themed. You got Snoopy on the front. Here's one with a space shuttle. That's kind of cool. And a rover. And down in the corner, hidden from view, you got uh, Woodstock. Here's what they look like put together. I have to tell you all, I absolutely love doing Charlotte area videos, but it is really nice to be back to Carowinds for the 2022 season. I love theme parks, amusement parks, I love being outside, all the roller coasters. I think this place is very, very underrated. Y'all, we live in this area and I come to Carowinds all the time and I never knew that the food pass that Carowinds sells is accepted here at Chick-fil-A. So I might be repurchasing that and eating some Chick-fil-A's this season. Now I am a sucker for cheesy dark rides and Boo Blasters is one of those cheesy dark rides. It's like the only dark ride here at uh, Carowinds. Now they made this change last year but I figured I would mention it on my video. The carts when they're loading people and dropping people off no longer stop. They continually slowly move and that's going to cut down the time it takes to obviously load and drop people off which means that it moves a lot faster. The line moves a lot faster. Now if you know anything about my channel name you know I like video games and right next to this beast Afterburn is a, a that is themed up like a video game, Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 3Z. And it's a screen shooter with a little uh, moving seat. So it's kind of, it's been kind of spotty. It's not been open very consistently. So the fact that I have caught it right now while it's open means that I am gonna run in here and ride it. Here's the front of the Plants vs. Zombies ride. And they used to have some big camper there, but they don't anymore, they've removed it. So let's see if we can get a video of those character cutouts over here. There we go. Plants and zombies. That is really cool. So I'm a crime talk secret. 
hidden camera room to learn what crazy Dave and those infuriating plants were up to. With my cameras in place, I heard them mention... If you know anything about this ride, you know that you enter on both sides of the theater here, but if you notice, nobody's lining up over there, and the characters that you see on the screen are facing this side of the theater. So I don't know if that's a permanent change or if that's just temporary, but it looks like we may only be either plants or zombies, not both. Kind of strange. It looks like the last show is exiting through the queue line for the next show. All right, we are done and out of Plants vs. Zombies. Now, I will say I was wrong. They are loading both sides of the theater right now. So there is a plant side and a zombie side. You ride your motion simulator that's like motorcycle style, and you shoot at a screen and get points. And I had 19,260 points. Can any of you all beat that? The arcade here at Blue Ridge Junction has been renovated, so let's go on in and see what it's about. All right, here's our first look at it here. They've got some new machines I've noticed, and they have moved the prize station from this area right here at the entrance over to the side over here. Um, looks really nice to me. I mean, I, I'm a sucker for a good arcade, and this is a good one. Also new here for Carowinds, they have gotten some plant-based options at the Blue Ridge Country Kitchen. We made it over here to Copperhead Strike, and let me tell you all, it's one of my favorite coasters here, and it's not the biggest, the baddest, or the fastest, but it is the most themed. Right inside that little door there, you've got a little themed up area where Granny is cooking up something that she needs to be delivered, and you launch out of that barn like a rocket. And there is tons of hang time up here. Like, you're upside down a lot on this roller coaster. But I like it. I like themed rides. We go to Universal Studios and Disney World all the time, and I'm a sucker for themed rides as well. But there's the your first look at the train. It's an hour-long wait right now. The other coasters have been down due to wind, so that did not help the wait time for Copperhead Strike. So I'm going to try to ride it tonight, but we may have to wait till later. But we're definitely going to ride this thing again. The county fair is pumping over here. There are lots of people. But you know, I just left Florida, and I have to admit, after seeing Disney and Universal, these wait times aren't that bad. We're gonna ride this rock and roller right here because our daughter is 35 inches tall, and she can ride this. We didn't even know it. So we're gonna hop on there and have a good little family experience. Well, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoy riding that thing. Now, I never didn't know that uh, you could be 52 inches or taller just to ride alone, but if you're shorter than that, you can ride with a supervising adult. Now, you can't be an infant age, obviously, but they don't have any minimum height requirements to ride this. Fair Fries has a new snack in town. It's called the Pot Roast Fries. It's kind of like a poutine, but it's got pot roast on it. I've mentioned this multiple times in my videos, but it is crucial. Carowinds is now cashless. So you need Apple Pay, a card, or something. If you don't have anything like a debit card or a credit card, you can go to a kiosk and put some money on one of the cards that they supply you. So if you have young kids, that's that may be what they need to do. You just take your money, fill the kiosk in, it shoots a card out, and you can use that. Right next to Ricochet, Pier 73 looks like it's going through a little overhaul here. They've got a little boat sitting out here that says, don't be crabby, something new is coming soon. So there's something new going to go here, but we don't know what it is yet. The Carolina Cyclone has got a brand new facelift. The carts are a different color, they're yellow now, and the track is now a teal color. So I think it's looking really good right now. I'll check that out coming through here. What a shot. I absolutely love it when amusement parks like Carowinds makes the roller coasters go over the walkway. Makes it feel so interactive. There they go. Oh, now they're over here. If you watched my Scarewinds video, you would know that Red Ribbon Meats is coming to an end. The, the house this year was called The Final Cut, I think. If it's not, I'll, I'll caption it on the video, but they still have the Red Ribbon Meat sign up. So no changes to that yet, but I'm expecting that there will be for Scarewinds. 
So remember earlier in the video when I said that Fury 325 was closed due to wind? It is still closed, right? Where you see that yellow sign right there. There's a gate going across and they're not allowing anyone to pass. But people are lining up right now, I guess assuming that it's gonna open up soon. But look at that line. It's probably a, a shorter line to get into right now, to be honest with you, because I've seen it go back this far, even with the, the queue open down there. If you watched my video from Winterfest last year, you would know that the Peanuts had a Christmas show in here. And let me tell you guys, it was really good to get back into the Carowinds Theater because we hadn't been in there in a long time. But now, we have this sign right in front of it saying new production coming soon. So I don't know what kind of production that is or what it will be, but we're going to have to check it out when it does come out. And let me tell you, I have had such a darn good time today so far. There, it is nice to be back into Carowinds. It's been closed over winter, about, about from January up until last week. So it's nice to be back here. Looks like Nighthawk is not open yet. Now, it wasn't open for uh, the pass holder preview night. It wasn't open for uh, opening day of Carowinds. I think someone said that they are painting it and it looks really nice. So it's undergoing a little bit of a refurb right now, and that is why it is closed for now, and I have no idea when this is going to reopen. It is getting late in the day. Carowinds is closing at eight tonight. It'll close at different times later, but you know, tonight is gonna be eight. And I am telling you, I love the ambiance of Carowinds in the dark like this. It seems to come alive, looks a lot different. Look at this uh, statue of Snoopy here at the water fountain. I love it. And the last thing we're gonna do for the night is head on into this uh, store here and see if they have anything new. The Rusted Rooster usually has some really good merchandise. It looks like they've removed all the uh, rod merchandise that I was telling you about earlier and replaced it with Billabong and things like that. So if you're interested in those clothes, you can find that here. Y'all, I have some major guts when it comes to rods, but I don't know if I can ever get myself on the wind seat here. Look at this. You're just sitting in a little chair right there and you go all the way up to the top. My goodness. I don't know if I can dangle from a little chair that high up in the air. Have your attention please. Carowinds is now closed. We hope you've had an enjoyable day all right y'all that is a wrap for our very first day at carowinds in charlotte north carolina for 2022 i had a lot of fun looking around seeing what was new and having some fun on some rides i hope you all did too i want to remind you that we do come here a lot we're from the general area we love carowinds it's our home park and we're going to do a lot of videos on it as well as some videos around the charlotte area in north carolina so if you're interested in that you might want to hit the subscribe button and follow me and see what i get into because you might be interested in some of the stuff i get into so with that being said i hope you guys had a good time um thanks for playing i will see you all later gg oh campers welcome to charlie brown's wind up carefully take your seat as the swings may move while entering and exiting the ride once seated a camp counselor will be around to assist you